Ladies and gentlemen, it's the Ebro Show. They back together, you know what I'm saying, for another release, Dumb and Dumber 2, Young Dolph and Key Glock. The other one went crazy. Now they back with another 20 joints for us. This joint just released March 22nd. Uh, but they've been had a few few joints available for everybody if you're paying attention. Aspen, Case Closed, I'm the Tight. Key Glock, man, uh, last time we spoke, uh, it was a great moment for you because uh, Mom Dukes had just came home. I'd love to get a get an update on just what that feels like now, man, to be able to have her with you and, and the family together for these last, well, it's been about a year now. Man, I ain't gonna lie, like, everything I do is it, for her. Like, yeah, like, man. Everything I want, I didn't, it ain't nothing that I ain't did that I want to do, so I just, I'm her genie. Like, whatever, whatever she want, Glock got her. That's my baby. Feels great, don't it? Wonderful. Dolph, you um you you all often in your music talk about coming from the struggle. Um and and I I don't know how long you how often you get to stop and really cherish, you know, the fact that you you and your your family and your kids, they don't have to want for anything and they don't have to experience the life that you experience. But the record Aspen and the music video definitely, you know, showcases some of that new living y'all doing. Right. How's it feel, man? Man, it feel good. Like you said, when we first got on, bro, it's a blessing. You know what I'm saying? The Aspen video, it was fun. It looked like, it looked, it, it just like how we, what, it, what it was, that's what it looked like. We had a lot of fun out there. Man. But it just, I'm still getting, I'm, I still got to kind of get used to it. You know what I mean? Because I still like my old habitat. I still like my old friends, my old buddies. You know what I'm saying? My old surroundings. So, right. The only thing different is, you know, you get a lot of money, you change your way, you change your thinking, your process of thinking. It really be about how get how to get more and how to keep leveling up. But at the same mm -hmm. time, if I was just to straight distance myself from the past, like my family, my friends, my neighborhood, I'd be a sucker. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So I can't distance myself from my past or my life, my real life, just because I got money and because I'm I'm getting more and more and more, like I can't do that. I'd be a sucker. I don't know how to be a sucker. It ain't in me. You know what I mean? But I'm definitely getting used to like living my life, doing my thing. The same thing you just said, that's the kind of conversation I have with my auntie, with my sisters, you know what I mean? Like my brother, my mama, daddy, like they be like, you know, they getting used to everything too, and everything I got, every more I get, the more they get. And they just be like, you know, they be happy. They be super happy for me. And they don't want it to, to stop to end because they see and they know how much potential I got. And, like, everything I'm doing right now, I told them that we was going to do this. Like, I told them, like, before I even got out of school, I told them, like, I'm going to get rich. I'm going to take care of you. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. So I'd be lying if I was to ever say that I didn't ever think I was going to be in this position. No, I knew I was going to be in this position. I knew my whole family was going to be in this position. So the thing is for me, really, man, really just to stay on my pivot. Don't let nothing knock me off my pivot. Let's get to that aspirin, though, because y'all was living life in that video. I was jealous. Now, I know you ain't on that snowboard like that, Dolph. I seen you carrying it, but I know you ain't on it like that. You want a bet? Oh, I'm on it, because I'm on it. Flipping everything. You ain't flipping. You ain't doing what I'm doing on it. I'm on it. Nah, you, you know, doing, I'm, I'm old, doing. man. I, I'm old. I ain't flipping. I ain't flipping. You got me. You got me. But I'm riding, though. I'm riding, though. I'm riding. <laughs> I ain't flipping either. I ain't even riding. <laughs> <laughs> I'm riding, though. I'm riding. I'm I riding jump on whatever. Snowmobile. Oh, I yeah, the snowmobile's snowmobile. lit. I saw you yeah. key glock on the snowmobile. Yeah, it is right up my alley. You had a you had a swole thing sitting on the back. I saw you bouncing around, carrying on. Talk about what you've been focused on in your raps and in your recording process, man. I just I like I try I try to stay different as as possible. Like as far as the flows, this this my opinion. Like most sixty seven percent of the rap game sound like each other. Mm -hmm. Like you know, what I mean? like I ain't saying it's a bad thing, but it just. It just ain't something that I want to do. Like I rather, I rather create my buzz or get my name 
going like how Glock wanted to be. Not like because this the wave right now, not because this the new style of this what everybody like. Now I'm gonna mold everybody to into Glock style and maybe sooner or later you'll see everybody using that flow, like my flow, you get what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I don't really worry about nothing nobody else doing. I just I always try to figure out new ways to stay relevant and stay separated from everybody. Now, y'all sold 43,000 tickets and sold out shows in multiple markets on the first Dumb and Dumber. I think it was the number. It was crazy. My team did some research on the amount of tickets y'all sold um, on the Dumb and Dumber project. Sold out shows all over the place. With things opening back up, are y'all y'all about to go back out on tour? We really ain't in no rush to go on tour, but when it opened up, We'll, we'll get back out there, but we're yeah. really kind of having fun right now, isn't it? Yo, listen, I don't want to go. Listen, cats keep asking me, yo, when you coming? I'm like, man, I've been in my crib, man, living life, man, chilling. <laughs> we might do us a show at the Glock Palace, invite everybody to the Glock Palace. <laughs> hey, listen, <laughs> I'm there. Yo, if it's one of those, I'm there. I like a, I like a good house party, man. That's my you favorite shit. It's Glock you talking about. It's one of them. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha